Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again. In this video, we're gonna show you how to hook up wireless CarPlay if you have built-in wireless CarPlay on your vehicle. How you can check if you have built-in wireless CarPlay is on the top, you can scroll left and right to apps. Now, one of the apps is Car Auto. Car Auto automatically opens up the Z-Link app, which is the built-in CarPlay. But if we go to apps, you can see we have Z-Link right here. Now, if you did purchase the built-in CarPlay option, built-in wireless CarPlay option, you should have the Z-Link app. If you do not have the Z-Link app, let us know with your order number. We can check on that. And what we would have to do is send you an email uh, to reinstall the app. That way you can get it back here. Sometimes if you go to like settings, more settings, system, and you do a backup and reset, or you do like a, uh, full reset on the unit it will get rid of the z-link app so if you no longer have the z-link app let us know with your order number and we can have you reinstall that app two ways to open up built-in carplay or um, built-in wireless carplay before that there are two usb ports built-in carplay and built-in wireless carplay both use the same port it's labeled usb 1 or it's labeled otg so you can see i have a iphone cable hooked up right here that i can do built-in so wireless, built-in wireless CarPlay allows you to hook it up through wire or do it wirelessly through the unit. In this video, we're gonna do it wirelessly. Two ways to open up the Car Auto app, and that's through the Car Auto app at the top or the Z-Link app. So let's press Car Auto at the top. It'll open up Z-Link. And there are instances where maybe the app is not authorized or activated. How you can tell is most likely if the unit is connected to the internet, the app itself will go on the internet and activate itself. If you do have internet, it goes on. It will pop up and say currently inactive. If it's not activated, what you'd have to do is uh, send us a picture of the QR code. So if I go to, let's go to settings. No, I gotta go to somewhere about. Somewhere in this area should have a QR code that you need to take a screenshot of using an app like Screen Master. Yeah, you'd have to use something like Screen Master to take a screenshot of the QR code and send us an email of that QR code. We have another video on how to take that QR code screenshot, so check that video out if uh, it comes up with an error that says not activated, need to activate, and it has a QR code. There's like three options, you have to choose the third option. So with that said, we have Z-Link open. What we need to do on our iPhone or Android phone, let's open up this iPhone right here. So what we need to do is we need to turn on Bluetooth, connect Bluetooth to the unit. I would personally forget all devices, so forget the device for the factory Bluetooth and forget the device for this Bluetooth and start over again. So let's go to Bluetooth, let's go to BT Bluetooth devices. Our Bluetooth is on right here. Let's see if it'll come up. So I do see it's BTEA3C. Let's connect to that one. It should ask me for a passcode, ELI is the phone, is my iPhone right here, ELI iPhone. And let's see what the password is. Settings, the password is 1234. So it is not connected right now. Let's try to connect it. Bluetooth, Bluetooth devices. So first connect Bluetooth, which is what we're doing right now. Press on the phone that you need to connect to and press that green icon to connect, which is what I'm doing here and doing here as well. Forget this connection, unsuccessful for connect this device. Okay, let's press that green icon again. We're gonna try to do this in one go. Turning off Bluetooth here, and I'm gonna turn it back on. There you go. Let's connect to ELI iPhone. Okay, pairing request, pair, allow. And now we should be connected. Yep, my Bluetooth is connected. If I go to my Bluetooth settings, 
let's go to Bluetooth settings. You can see it says connected BTEA 3C. Now what we need to do is connect our hotspot. So let's go to settings. We're here in settings. We can go to personal hotspot, turn that on. My passcode here is uh, eight zeros. And now it's discoverable. Let's go to the gear icon at the top settings. And then we go to more settings. Here we can go to network and internet. We go to Phoenix. Right now it's connected to our office internet. Let's find the internet on this phone. So I see my iPhone is right there. And then the passcode is uh, eight zeros. So let's put that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. Should be connecting to my hotspot. Connecting. Connected. Now that my hotspot's connected and the Bluetooth is connected, I should be able to open up Apple CarPlay. So let's press the Car Auto app at the top. Waiting. And let's see if it connects. Okay, um, so it doesn't seem to be connecting. It says waiting. What I would try to do is hook up the connection first to see if it'll connect through wired. If it does connect through wired, maybe you do need to do it initially. Okay, let's press okay. I saw something pop up. Allow, let's press allow. Now that we have CarPlay connected through the built-in CarPlay connecting here, let's unplug it and see if it will be wireless from now on. So if I unplug it here, I still see I have built-in CarPlays open. Let's try to route. It does say waiting. Let's see if it'll reconnect. You can see now it says connecting. And let's wait for it. Uh, you can talk. What's up? You need a dongle. Verlas, you need a dongle. But uh, now there's Android 9 built in wireless CarPlay. Yola. Real? Yeah, yeah, for real. I know, right? So now it's connecting. I have my hotspot on and I have Bluetooth on, but it should be connecting. The reason it's not connecting, let's try to turn off Bluetooth and see if it'll connect. So I just turned off Bluetooth. You can see I pressed that. What we'll do here is we'll connect the iPhone again. I need, I need you help. One minute, give me one minute. One minute, video doesn't pause. <laughs> okay, let's press okay. So let's try that again. When we plug it in, it will pop up and ask you okay. So when I plug this in, when I plug the iPhone in, I will press okay. I just plug the iPhone in. Let's wait for the thing to pop up. Let me uh, plug it right in again. It should pop up. The initial setup is a little bit finicky, but once you have it set up, it should automatically connect wirelessly. So let's open CarPlay again. I closed it earlier. Now I connected it. Let's see. Okay, there you go, pressed okay. Now we should be able, device detected, that's what it says. I really need you. Now when I disconnect the iPhone, it should stay connected. What it'll do is disconnect and then it'll connect again. So now that I have disconnected it, the unit will disconnect. Now I'll say waiting and let's see if it'll connect. Let's turn on our Bluetooth. Let's go to Bluetooth devices. Uh, 
I go to Bluetooth, Bluetooth's on, not connected to the BTE3A, so let's connect to that one. Now that's connected, you can see CarPlay is about to connect. So you do need to have Bluetooth on for everything to communicate with each other. And let's hope that CarPlay connects. There you go. So that's wireless CarPlay. It did get a little bit, um, you did have to play around with it a little bit. So what I've done, what I've done is um, connected the wire so that you first have an initial plug-in so that it talks with the vehicle. Once you've done that, you can unplug the lightning cable. And what you can also try to do is have Bluetooth, turn off Bluetooth and turn it back on again. And then it'll start to connect again once you turn on Bluetooth. So now CarPlay does work and I can go to messages. I can see my calls and this is all done wirelessly. Sorry for the interruptions in this video. It is a little bit long, 12 minutes, but I just wanted to show you that even when we do it here, it's not a clean uh, connection and it does take a little bit finicking around to get it to connect solidly. Um, you just gotta play with it a little bit, kinda give it some connection through the wire, disconnect it, and then let it connect through wirelessly. You guys saw how I did it here. This is the first time with this iPhone. And Android should be a little bit easier just because it's more, um, less firewalls, if you would say. So that's how to connect wireless CarPlay. Make sure you have hotspot on connected. Make sure you have Bluetooth connected as well to the unit. Forget the devices on the vehicle. And first, uh, forget all devices in general and start fresh. And um, you saw there where I had to plug it in to hardwire connection then disconnect it so that it would start to talk wirelessly. So initial setup, you do need to plug it into the OTG or USB 1 port. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.